Cái con che, che hết. Wrestlers escape from side control. He actually takes you over the top on on his head and neck. So I got to work on my head and neck strength. It looks so ridiculously easy when he does it, but obviously I can't do it. Can't you? Even though I support a lot, it's not enough. Sure, it's sure. Well, it's 19 mounts to feed, isn't it? So I'm really happy that they got the monetary awards from the Sea Games. Yep. Uh, they got a decent amount of money for the SEA Games? For, for winning medals. How much do they get? Uh, I think the gold medal, they might get up to 19000 wow. But the problem is, you shouldn't give the money at the end after they've won it. Right. If you want, if you want your country right. to win medals, you've got to support them, support all them along. along the way. So it's, it's hard to train for a gold medal when you're only... Of course, having said, that, having said that, the U.S. government doesn't actually give money to our athletes. That's right. And uh, these, uh, I, I think uh, there needs to be a change in mindset that they need to... At my sports university in China, it's a very common discussion that we have, is that they'll ask me, wow, the, oh, the Vietnam guy, oh, my country gives this much to the athletes, and yeah. Thai guy, oh, this, this much. Yeah. They go, wow, America must give like millions. I'm like, no, actually, <laughs> we get zero. <laughs> I encourage them to take money for the students, training the students. But so far they they feel it's bad to take money. So so far I, they've been training students without taking money from the students. I wish they would make this training sort of available as just a regular thing and then people could pay money for it. Like what they're doing for me. Right, they're doing right. it for me as a favor right. and I'm giving them money, but the thing is I wish that they would do this as a little supplementary income. Yes, and I also encourage them to charge money for the students, but so far they, yeah. they feel guilty. They're good people. The other thing is that they feel that wrestling is such a difficult sport, it's so, it's so physically demanding, that why in the world it's on pain to, <laughs> to, to have to work so hard. But that's everywhere I train in Asia. They're like, so you foreigners like quit your job, pay tens of thousands of dollars to come over here and get your butts kicked. <laughs> they think we're crazy. Jeff Loon asked me to take full mounts the way I would in an MMA fight to see if he'd be able to buck me and see if I'd be able to remain in the dominant position. You trained a little bit when I was preparing for Mayhem uh, MMA competition. You, you were there and you helped me with single leg and sprawl and some stuff. So. Uh, You've had a little experience BJJ. You've seen MMA a little bit. What do you think about I like trained, wrestling? Uh, I trained two years uh, kickboxing at Patty's gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I knew you've Patty's gym, too. and neck clenching with you was like preposterous because you was so incredibly yeah, wrestling I've, strong. I've always tried to train uh, jiu-jitsu or MMA when I get a chance. Okay. I've even gone to Phuket to a training camp there. Did you? You, you die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He said you pretty much got to do it while the guy's punching because otherwise they're going to base out with their hands. So you wait till he punches you in the face and then you roll him. To forget top team or tiger? Uh, tiger, tiger. Tiger. Okay, so having said that, what do you think about wrestling for MMA? Like, what? Uh, how does it need to be modified, or how do you use wrestling in MMA? Uh, well, I'm not in a position to really say because I'm not such. I don't have such a high level of knowledge of uh, MMA. Yeah. But uh, I found that uh, when I was, whatever I do with my wrestling background, and wherever I go, I'm able to. It's a huge advantage. Yeah. 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 And, uh, 
Yeah, I really want to spar. I haven't had a chance to spar with the judo guy yet, and I really want to I do that. I was curious, like when you're training with BJJ, you always start on your knees. Yes. The thing is, in a real match, the BJJ guy will never be able to take you down. That's right. <laughs> they, well, they don't have enough takedown. Yeah. Don't tell them I said that. Go. So uh, he told me he was watching MMA fights and he saw fighters get in the full mount and he felt that if you just get two underhooks, pull the guy in, roll him on your head, you can just take the guy right over your top. So that's interesting. I mean, he came up with that himself from watching MMA fights. Uh, the kids you see training here today are part of the youth wrestling team and every year in Phnom Penh they had a youth wrestling championship in February but they didn't have a youth training program so basically kids just came in from the provinces and just beat the crap out of each other and somebody won. So anyway this year they actually started their training program so everybody's really excited about that. Wrestling in Phnom Penh is taking off. Cambodia is taking off this year. The SEA Games competition, the Cambodian national team won more medals than they've ever won before. They won about a quarter of the total medals of, of, of all the sports combined. Um, you know, wrestling's doing very well here now. They got the youth program, so they're going to train these kids for something like a month and then put them into the national youth championship. And then eventually, this will start to feed the national team. So, little by little, the sport is being built. Did you want to say anything? Last words? Uh, <laughs> ចង់ឲ្យសាកុំ <laughs> 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 Yeah, that came back. Ah. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. So you just kind of bend his body and bend his body and bend his body so his choke releases a little bit. It's not a choke anymore anyway. As soon as it releases a little bit, you can go right into the neck crank from there. Last words you want to say? I would like to invite all of you to come practice with the national <laughs> team every Saturday and Sunday from 3 to 5 on Saturday and from 8 to 10 on Sunday morning. It's free because they feel guilty. No, tell them to pay money. money you have to pay money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these guys uh, are international caliber. They won gold medals in international competitions. You're going to get top training and you're going to have wonderful experience. Make friends and have fun. Cool. Thank you, Ms. Casey. Boop.